here. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite forgetful Avengers favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the SH Fig Wars Hawkeye. And the reason why I say forgetful is because I kind of feel like Hawkeye is a forgetful character. Uh, he's just not my favorite. Shout out to all the Hawkeye fans. I'm 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 happy for you. I just feel like not for me. Like I just I often forget he's in the movies. I often forget he's part of the team. It doesn't seem really appropriate that he's part of the team. Uh, whatever. That's a separate conversation that maybe is best for nerd rage, but I'm just not a huge fan. But this is the SH Figuarts one, so I kind of felt like I had to have it for the sake of the collection. And we're going to talk about it. It's a Tamashi Nations exclusive, I believe, and uh, that makes it more expensive. And as a result, it makes me less enthused with some of the things going on here. That being said, let's get to accessories. Accessory wise, you get the quiver. It's well sculpted. The silver is painted inside. All the tips are painted and then the quills are painted. And then it has a peg which pegs into the back of the figure right there. Simple as pie. The hand options are pretty smart. A lot of bang for your buck. You have two relaxed hands which can also be like arrow grabbing hands or arrow reaching hands from the quiver. And they all are um, sculpted and painted. The black is not painted well. The black is not painted well on the straps that run from the wrist, the top of the wrist, down to the finger guards on any of them. It's a bummer. And like... I w another thing I don't really understand is, and, and this may just be my ignorance, and I'm, I'm willing to accept that. But like, so this is a right hand, and this is a left hand. This is a left hand, and then we have different right hands that don't have this design on there, like this fist, and when he's holding the bow and arrow. So like, it's, I, I'm not sure what is inconsistent or why it's inconsistent, but that there may be a practical reason for that. But there is no excuse for why this paint is so sloppy on this black here on the hands. And then we have two bow options, both for the right hand. And one is, you know, a relaxed pose with the bow, and then one is with the arrow drawn back in the bow. And we'll see them used throughout this review and in, in the final thoughts. But uh, it's all done well. They're, they're cast in black. The, the uh, maroon is painted on. The hands are all painted. And they are um, these are actually painted fairly well. So that's nice. And the silver is painted as well. So this all works as it should. Now let's talk about the figure. I feel like this face sculpt is way off. Like, there's some, I think it's the nose, and maybe it's the nose and the, sh like the shading is too aggressive. And it doesn't match the shading anywhere else. So the face is heavily shaded, especially in the forehead. Can you see that? It's heavily shaded. And then the neck isn't, and the hands aren't. So it's just very strange, and I feel like the nose is very intense. Now, some angles, it does look very much like him, you know, but a lot of angles, it doesn't. And the over, the over, uh, pardon me, oh. the over done shading, it just, it looks weird. It looks very strange. I don't know how else to say it. We're using the digital paint again. It's the quality wise is still off like it's not even on the sides of the cheek here so it's just like on the center of the face and that might be another reason like it looks like he needs to wash his face i don't like it the hair sculpt is okay it's a darker color and then dry brushed with a brown and that looks that looks fairly good i feel like the sculpt is a little off like i feel like the little front bit here is a little intense too like it's it's, it's like he's got too much hair so i'm not crazy about that it's on a double ball peg, and then the neck is on a ball peg as well, at least a single, I think so. So you get down to there, up to there, and then the swivel. So the articulation for the head is great. Now, for the chest, <clears throat> we have, let me just back this out because it's having a hard time realizing what I want to shoot. So all the details in the jacket are sculpted. The maroon type color is painted and it's painted fairly well. This dark, this like lighter gray is painted as well. That looks good. And the back is all clean. Double ball peg for that joint works really well. No gappage really. And a decent range. I got to sneeze. Hold on.
pardon me. So, uh, we'll continue. The, pardon me. So, there is an additional joint that we come to expect, like at the pelvis, but it's hard to get to because of this soft plastic uh, trench coat bit. The zipper is sculpted and painted. All that stuff is done really well. All the details are all sculpted. They're painted. Actually, it might be this part that's painted in the gray. I can't tell. Either way, it's all done well. The maroon is painted well. It's all clean. So the sculpt and paint work uh, for the rest of the figure are really well done. For the shoulders, the butterfly joint is here, and then it has a ball peg inside the torso and a ball hinge at the shoulder. So articulation is superb up to there, around, and across. No problems. No bicep swivel, but you get it at the shoulder, and it kind of works. The, the base plastic, what's going on here? Okay, the base plastic is the maroon color and then we have the black and the, and the gray painted on and all the buckles are painted as well. And for the most part, it's done really well, but I'll tell you what, it ain't perfect. We got maroon paint spill over into the gray there. We have black spill over like a fuzziness onto the maroon there and over here. So that's a bummer. Single jointed disc hinge swivels at the top and bottom, so that works well. And then the same for the wrist, and that works well. And the the little part there is all sculpted on the hand and painted, but that's not extremely clean either. If you can see there in that pocket of the hand, there's a part that should be painted. I'm going to use this lightsaber. That should be painted right there in that little corner. And it's not. It's just... it's. It's just sloppy, and it's the same for the other side. So that brings us to the pelvis. We have T-jointed ball joints for hips. We'll see if they have a drop down. I can't remember. Doesn't appear to, unless it's really tight. So it gets you up at a pretty good range. Back, you're hindered by the, the pelvis sculpt and the trench coat, so not so much there. And then out to the side, not great either due to the same things. Now, part of that is just a character design thing. The, the uh, Age of Ultron is not my favorite design for him, but that's what it is. Single jointed knee, and that swivels at the top as well, so that works well. No problems there. We also have a thigh swivel at the ball joint. So between all that and then we have the black stuff painted on there, the wrinkles in the pants are all sculpted well and the silver buckles are painted well. The boots are all extremely well sculpted and painted. The buckles are painted and they look great. And the wrinkles in the pants and stuff around them look good as well. Ankle tilt, you get up to there, down to there, you get an ankle swivel and you get a rocker. So that all works. The laces where, where they go in and out of, like the lace holes, they're all painted. And then you get a boot hinge that goes both ways, which is unfortunate. But you do get the boot hinge, and that works well uh, when you use it properly as well. It's actually a pretty clean cut, which is not always the case. So, yeah, that is, that's this guy. And there's a size comparison. So that's done well as well. We got to give them every little bit of credit we can on this go round unfortunately final thoughts wise let's have all of our cards on the table okay i'm a little bit more critical of the tamashi nations exclusives because you're paying a little bit more money and i feel like they should give you a little bit more that being said i feel like they're giving you less here across the board i don't feel like the face sculpt is as good as we've come to expect i feel like the paint on the face is worse than we've come to expect i feel like the articulation is fair but not phenomenal it's certainly at least on par with their with their regular releases but i don't feel that there's anything exceptional about it and I and I feel like there's paint issues, which is something I'm really not used to. And I don't mean just the face. I mean, like, the, the tightness and cleanness of the paint throughout the figure is not as good as we are used to. And those things make this a really difficult, jagged little pill to swallow as a consumer. I've got dolls I'm happy with and SH fig warts that I'm not. My entire world is upside down. Positives wise, okay. I think the sculpt work is great for the most part with the face being the only exception and maybe the hair as well. I think the rest of the sculpt work is extremely well done. I also think that the accessories are very smart and probably the best accessory we've 
accessories I've ever seen anyway for a bow and arrow type character. I think it's all clever and it all is extremely effective and efficient and clean, which I think is hard to do most times with bow and arrow style figures. You know, I have shelves of Marvel Legends that, that don't do it anywhere remotely as well. Uh, the hand being attached to the bow, the uh, pullback hand for the other one, the arrow being attached to the bow, like all that kind of stuff is extremely well done. It's very smart, it's very clever, and I think it's the best way to have done it. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near enough for me to recommend this, especially for the price they're asking for it. It's very rare that I don't recommend an SH Figuarts figure to my audience, so you have to realize. That